see your face everywhere when i'm going out you'll be there cause everything reminds me of you i can't take no more girl i think i'm losing my mind Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here in this beautiful villa in a beach that is around 40 minutes away from where I live. I am joined by Tia, who is going to be my beautiful model today. I'm going to link her down below, so make sure to check her out. And I'm going to be walking you through how I do summer photo shoots, from shooting outdoors to indoors, how I incorporate my background into my shots and so on. So stay tuned. Um, before we get into this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell button to not miss any of my future uploads. And let's get right into the video. Psst, you all know what's coming. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-one platform that will help you make your dream website, portfolio, or an online shop become a reality. Squarespace has hundreds of beautiful templates, so you will definitely find something that suits you and your personal style. You can build a professional portfolio website in a matter of hours, and you will be able to customize it every step of the way. So it's so you that nobody can deny it's not. As we all know, social media presence is power. And with Squarespace, you'll be able to auto post all your contents to Twitter, Facebook, or Tumblr with proper tags and descriptions. Finally, Squarespace helps you with the marketing. They help you with SEO, as well as some plugins for Instagram stories and so on, as well as share buttons. So your followers can give you some juicy shout outs on their social media. If that sounds like something you'd like to try, make sure to go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And once you're ready to go, use my code squarespace.com slash Anita to receive 10% off your first purchase. So for this one, we definitely want to incorporate the beautiful villa, the views. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Yeah, that's really nice. It's the light like, oh, it's bright. Gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, so we're seeing like really nice background palm trees from the reflections. Shooting into reflections is always a cool idea. You just have to make sure that that's really nice. Yeah, that's lovely. You just have to make sure that you're not in the shot yourself because if it's a mirror, you're gonna show. I kind of like the idea of like maybe even being upstairs, not in the direct sunlight because it's so hot right now and bright. So we're gonna start here actually because it looks really nice. The view is really lovely. I'm gonna lower my F stuffed. Beautiful. So yeah, we are getting a really nice view of the rice paddies and the ocean and the palm trees. That's beautiful. It's just a bit too dark. So we'll start with the shower. We were going to start upstairs, but the light is just not the best. I wanted to wet her hair, so I just thought that we might as well take some photos while we do it. Yeah, that's really nice. Love that. Really lovely. Just, you know, casual, just, just taking photos while we're showering in our bikini. That's what everybody does, no? Yeah, that's lovely. I love the background here. I might go on this side here as well, just to try and see. So there's so many lovely palm trees here in the background that I kind of want to capture that. And look at me, yeah, beautiful. And step out just a tiny bit. Yeah, mm -hmm, perfect, cool. Even if it's outside, that's fine. Gorgeous. Today's photos were edited with my new skin tone preset packs that I released last week. They are light, medium and medium dark, so depending on what kind of skin tones you edit the most, you can get them for yourself. For this particular image, I ended up using my light medium preset pack and I went with the number three because I thought that it made the skin look really nice and golden. I just really like the look. In general, I usually adjust my presets accordingly to the photo because sometimes one doesn't fit all. But in this particular case, I thought that it was pretty close and there was very little adjustments to be done. So I was pretty happy with it. So we're getting some really lovely shapes and usually when I shoot in those kind of locations, I always shoot at like, F, this is f3.5, but usually I would even go higher. I'll go 4.5 or even five. I'll just lower the shutter speed and just work with that because I feel like it kind of incorporates the background much nicer. Lovely. Um, because my lens is 2.8, you know, it's not that much of a difference. Even if I shoot on the 2.8, it's still gonna be relatively sharp. It's not like 1.4 or anything. 
But I just, I just like incorporating background. I think it's more interesting. So in general, I, if you watch my channel, you know that if I um, do swimwear, I usually like the models to be like either wet, covered in oil, just kind of like looking a bit more realistic rather than just, you know, being all dry with the perfect hairstyle and super nice makeup because I just don't think it's really real for swimwear. Beautiful. Yes, beautiful. Love that. Oh yeah, that's really nice. The light is really lovely and soft. Because we're in the shade, that's beautiful. We have the water, yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, maybe one, yeah, kind of a perfect. Exactly. Okay, so I'm gonna be shooting on a slightly wider focal length because I like the slight distortion that always makes the models look a bit longer and kind of like elongated in general. So it just kind of always nice, it works nicely for swimwear. So yeah, I'm shooting on like 28 at the moment, beautiful. So when I shoot swimmer, I always try and avoid, or in general, any photo shoots, I always try and avoid harsh contrasts. So I never put, let, let's say, um, the model like half in the shade and half in the sun, because it never really works very well. You always have to make sure that the model's either fully in the sun or fully in the shade. Um, unless you obviously take some sort of creative portraits where you just have bits of face kind of, you know, in a palm tree or something. But other than that, it's just way too much harsh contrast to be half in the shade and half in the sun. So obviously going from the shadow, from the shade as I just did, to full sun, I have to change my settings quite drastically. I'm now on f5, thousand of a second. Okay. I'm uh, using my macro 100 millimeters for the first time since I bought it six months ago. So that's something. I bought it because I lost my previous one and I was using it for beauty. But then I um, bought this one and I just never shot beauty again. So it's been lying in my kit for months. Nice. Yeah, that's really lovely. I like that. So I'm shooting on a thousandth of a second, five zero ISO 100. It's gorgeous. Can we have your leg one on top of the other as you had it at the beginning? Yeah, beautiful. Perfect. Uh-huh, gorgeous. Yeah, that's really beautiful. Nice, that's really lovely. And kind of, yeah, exactly, chin up a tiny bit just because of the light. Mm -hmm. So because it's still kind of like high in the sky. That's really nice. This lens gives you like really nice contrast. I've never really, I don't use 100 mil at all for swimmer shoots, but I don't know why, because it's really nice. I guess I just forgot and I can be so much further. Nice, that's lovely. Beautiful. Yeah, I love that. That's really nice. Yeah. Yes, uh-huh, perfect. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, so a lot of the time when I do shoots like that, I love to have some sort of a close-up angle, but I want to balance it out with a wider angle so I can kind of tell more of a visual story. Obviously, because my photos are not really for editorial or for magazines, it's a bit harder because I don't really get them on a spread, you know, on the, in a magazine, it's only on my Instagram, so there's only so much story I can tell. But for me, visually, I just love mixing really close-up shots with kind of stuff that is further away and that shows way more background and so on. So a lot of the time when I take photos, I also do behind the scenes videos like this and sometimes it helps me see really good angles and like very nice angles that I like. So yeah, kind of like, you know, you were just kind of, yeah, uh-huh. And just kind of even like chin up even the same with more so and kind of close your eyes towards the sun. Beautiful. Yes, perfect. Just like that. Sorry, I just need to change my focus point. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Gorgeous. In here. Yeah, and here, especially because I'm shooting from above, definitely like try and chin up as much as possible. Yeah, mm -hmm. so sweaty. <laughs> I know, it's fine. It just looks super glowy.
Overall, whenever I'm shooting swimwear, I always try and incorporate my backgrounds as much as possible. Because I couldn't really shoot inside of the house because it was very backlit, I tried to incorporate the architecture from the outside. I tried to show as much of the pool as possible as well. Um, I always love to shoot stories where I take a bunch of really close-up photos that show the swimwear well, but then go much farther and show the entire surroundings. And I think it makes a very interesting visual story. And I used to never do that when I started out because I didn't really know how and I was not really feeling comfortable with it. But now that I've been shooting for so long, I kind of know my my usual photos that work and things that look good and one of them is definitely mixing some real close shots uh, maybe half bodies or even full bodies but just pretty like tight in with some really nice mood shots where it doesn't necessarily show the model that well or the swimwear or the accessories but it shows the whole surrounding it shows you the whole vibe of the place and it just works so well and i love doing that because it really adds to the story <laughs> Usually when I do my swimwear shoots and they are in the afternoon, I wouldn't start until 5, 5.30 if the sunset is at 6.30. It doesn't leave you a lot of time, but it makes the light so nice and soft and manageable. If you've ever been to a tropical country like Indonesia, you know that it's really, really hot and humid and it's very hard to manage in other hours so it just makes it so much more difficult to shoot um, but this time i decided to start a bit earlier because it was in the middle of rainy season and it was raining so heavy um, throughout the day that i just was scared that if i waited too long it would start lashing so we started shooting i think around 2 30 which in theory was good but in practice it was so bright and so hot and the light was just so hard to manage it's not like she really had panda eyes either it was just very unbearable to be outside One thing that was really difficult was how harsh the light was outside and how relatively dark it was inside. So we were kind of in a position where we couldn't really do either. We ended up waiting until the sun was going to get a bit softer. But as I predicted, the clouds came and they kind of took over and then I lost the light, which is even more annoying because I knew that I had the light at the beginning and I didn't use it because I was waiting for it to get a bit softer but then it just went away completely so this is just something that you have to consider when you're doing your shoots how the light situation is going to be if for example you are in the rainy season and you think it is going to rain or it's going to get overcast you have to think about it when shooting Okay guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video and the photos. Let me know which ones you like the most. Make sure to check out my team. They will be linked down below as well as anything that I mentioned in the video. And if you did like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Like the